Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As I promised in my last video, I'm going to do a video about each of the releases I picked up during the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. And I've watched Rad already, but I did not do a video on that yet. I'm working on it. I want to get through all the special features. So the first one up is The Candy Snatchers. Now this movie, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I knew it was... Um, it was one of the new Vinegar Syndrome releases for that they're releasing with a sale, so it wasn't even at a sale price. And I totally didn't even get the, the slip cover because I wasn't going to buy it. I actually added this to the order with Blood Games and Psycho Cop Returns because I felt compelled to buy more things after I put my first order in. So this thing was a blind buy and a blind watch, and I fucking love this movie. Okay, if you love 70s exploitation films, this thing is fantastic. It's one of those kidnapping movies. You know, you kidnap, a, in this case, a little girl. Well, a teenage girl, whatever she was in the movie. And they try to get extort money out of her father. And things go sideways, obviously, as they do in these movies. This is a really dark and bleak film with a ton of good performances. Like, everybody in this movie is good. Even the... The sub the subplot actors like the the mother of the kid and the mother and father of the kid they're fucking really good too. Just everybody is hit it out of the park. Like everything about this, it, it's so good. I highly recommend this movie. I know a lot of you probably have never heard of it. I never heard of it, but um, if you've ever seen Hitchhike, this is a weird comparison because it's really not like that. But Hitchhike was a 1977 exploitation film. Uh, David Hess is in it. It's it's like, um, what's that, The House on the Edge of the Park or whatever. It's one of those type of movies. This isn't like that, but it has that same like 70s vibe where you get like that weird 70s music in there with some real dark shit. And some of the stuff's being played a little bit like comedy and you don't know whether to laugh or be super depressed. Like, the movie, the tone is kind of like, it, it walks this razor-thin line between those two things. And I think they do a fantastic job of just making this a real enjoyable watch. Like, this movie flies by and you're you're hooked. Because there's some real good twists and turns in here that I didn't expect. And um, you just want to see what happens next. And the finale is, I'm not going to even spoil it, but it's it's really unexpected in parts. And it leaves you with... Not knowing what happened to certain characters and if the fates of those characters and there's, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to say it's really good. But also with this review here, I also wanted to go into the, um, the Vinegar Syndrome release itself. Because you know buying these Vinegar Syndrome titles, it's not just about the movie. It's about the packaging. It's about the special features. It's about the slipcover, which I don't have, which I would love to review for you. I regret it. I really regret not getting it. I am not one of those people who eBay slipcovers, but I love this movie so much, I may do that. I may pay twenty some dollars for a piece of cardboard that goes over the top. But I will say, those pieces of cardboard from Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome are really good and embossed and heavy and fucking excellent. So, it'd probably be worth it if you really like the movie. But anyways, let's get to it. So, Vinegar Syndrome, I noticed... It's, it's weird, not every release has the DVD and the Blu-ray, as you can see here, but this one does, and I assume they both have the special, same special features. I didn't check out the special features on the DVD. However, what's interesting is with every Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome release, they do their own new art for, for, the, for the case, but you can also flip it to the original art here. So, as you can see, this is, uh, this is what Vinegar Syndrome had done and then this is the original art here and with this release the the blu-ray matches their art and the dvd matches the original art so it's a uh, interesting here variety i guess i mean i like this is it's a crap shoot with these sometimes i like the new art sometimes i don't this i love this i love the like has that like pre like that fake folded look to it i love the color scheme so th that's the one I'm going to display, but you know, you're any you're free to display this one as well. I could see someday maybe you know just 
for variety's sake, moving moving that one out and flipping it over. So let's talk about uh, the special features here, because I watched all of the special features. I did not check out all the commentary. I watched the movie, and then I went to the special features, and I watched everything that didn't require me to rewatch the whole movie again. Not that I wouldn't want to, just for time constraints, because I have a ton of under, other movies here, Vinegar Syndrome stuff, new screen pickups that I want to get to, so... I'm not I'm not rewatching movies right after I watch them, you know. But I could see going through this movie again with the with the commentary. But look, getting off topic here. Um, so the special features. There's three featurettes: uh, a a dark film, an interview with director Gordon Trueblood, searching the role, an interview with actor Vince Mortarano. I think what was his name in the movie? Was it? I want to say it was Vinny, but I'm probably wrong, so don't quote me on that. But he was like the chubby guy. If you watch the movie, you'll know he, he's real standout. He's fantastic. And um, there was an interview with the producer Gary Alderman, digging up the past, so that one was called. Also, a uh, promotional still in ar archival article gallery, which I watched through, which is pretty cool. You know, it's like pictures to the song, which the theme song for this is fucking great. I don't know if it's an original song or what, but. It's been stuck in my head since I watched this, and it's definitely now on my Spotify list. I would love to buy the vinyl. I don't buy vinyls, but this is one I would because I fucking loved it so much. But yeah, so with the, with the three featurettes here, you get uh, you know you get the director, you get an actor, and you get the producer. So there's, there's some variety in here. The producer definitely was more on I don't, clinical, would you say? Very direct about the movie, not not as passionate and in love with it as the director was now the director you could just tell the director and the and the the actor featurettes here the they like they love this movie like to this day they're proud of it and i think they absolutely should be because this movie's great and it was nice when you watch a movie and you really really love it to go and watch the director and people from the cast talk about it in a glowing light and sharing your enthusiasm. And that's what I really liked about the special features on this on this release. Now, you got maybe an hour of special features here, so it's not like, uh, there's not like a full documentary for you to watch, but it's just enough to satisfy that, the wet that appetite for some behind the scenes stuff. And I guess this chick here, like the main chick villain, she hated the movie and thought it ruined her career. She was on cocaine or something, she said. So whatever, she's fantastic in this, and I don't know how that... I mean, I love exploitation films, and I... Fuck, if I was her, I would have fucking made a career out of those, but, you know, apparently she did a couple more. But yeah, this is a fantastic release. It should be uh, in stock again on the Vinegar Syndrome website. So if you're at all interested in a 1973 kidnapping film that is pretty dark you will love this. I have no um, hesitation about recommending this movie. I give it four and a half stars out of five. So stick around. Um, I'm going to do a video on Rad. I'm going to do a video on Blood Games. I got all those, those coming. I just got the, as you can see right here, the Fly Collection. I watched the original Fly and I might do something on that set. To let you know what's in there since it's available at Walmart now for like 40 bucks. So that's the stuff that's coming up. So as usual, like, subscribe, and stay freaky.